Okay. Anything to bring up before the jury comes back, Mr. Saunders? No. Mr. Fralick? No, Your Honor. All right. Be seated. And you are the four person, is that correct? Yeah. If you could hand the, uh, your verdict to the bailiff. Okay. Um, the uh, verdict seems to be in order, and I will read it as follows. Question one, at the time the crimes were committed, did the defendant have a mental disease or mental defect? Answer, no. Uh, there's no answer then for question two. It is dated this date, July 27, 2023, signed by the foreperson. There were no dissenting jurors. Um, is there a request by either of the parties to have the, the uh, jury polled? Mr. Saunders? No. Mr. Fralick? Yes. All right. <laughs> We did this the last time, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm going to, I'm going to poll you again. I'm going to start in the back. Ma'am, are these your verdicts? Yes. 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 Sir, are these your verdicts? Yes. Ma'am, are these your verdicts? Yes. Start down here. Sir, are these your verdicts? Yes. Ma'am, are these your verdicts? Yes. Sir, are these your verdicts? Yes. Sir, are these your verdicts? Yes. Ma'am, are these your verdicts? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, your service in this case is now completed. Many jurors ask if they are allowed to discuss the case with others after receipt of the verdict. Because your role in this case is over, you are not prohibited from discussing the case with anyone. However, you should know that you do not have to discuss the case with anyone or answer any questions about it from anyone other than from the court. This includes the parties, lawyers, the media, or anyone else. If you do decide to discuss this case with anyone, I would suggest you treat any discussion with a degree of solemnity such that whatever you do say, you would be willing to say uh, in the presence of your fellow jurors or under oath here in open court in the presence of the parties. It is in the public interest that there be the utmost freedom of debate in the jury room and that jurors be permitted to express their views without fear of incurring the anger of any litigants or criticism of any person. Please respect the privacy of the views of your fellow jurors. Finally, I'd like to address you before you leave, so if you can just wait in the jury room for a few minutes, um, I'd appreciate that. And um, you may confer with me at any time before answering any questions from anyone. I wanted you to know that as well. And with that, uh, we excuse the jury. All rise for the jury. Having received this verdict as well as the prior two, does the state have a motion regarding the verdicts, Mr. Saunders? 
I'd ask the court to accept the verdicts and enter a judgment of conviction. Um, I do have a certified copy of a judgment of conviction, uh, case 20 CF 998, as the basis of the repeater allegation in counts one, two, and three of information. Those will be received. Mr. Frelick, any response to that request? Your Honor, I bring a motion for uh, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. Uh, <clears throat> I believe there's testimony, ample uh, testimony in the record that uh, my client was suffering from a mental, mental disease or defect at the time of these offenses and that she lacked the substantial capacity to uh, appreciate the wrongfulness of her conduct and conform her, or conform her conduct to the requirements of the law. I'd ask that you consider um, all of the testimony from Dr. Lighton, who is a seasoned uh, veteran in the field of uh, psychology and uh, the record. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've listened to the entirety of the testimony um, over these last several days, and specifically uh, regarding today's testimony um, with regard to the uh, responsibility phase. I'm satisfied that the evidence is sufficient to support uh, the jury's verdict, and I'm going to adjudge the defendant guilty on count one of first degree intentional homicide as a repeater, uh, count two, uh, mutilating a corpse as a repeater, and count three, third degree sexual assault as a repeater. I'm going to revoke bond at this time then, um, and I'm going to order a pre-sentence investigation report be conducted. I'll order that be released no later than one week in advance of sentencing. And I'm looking to schedule a sentencing date. Um, September 19th. Let's check that out here. Um, I already have a scheduled jury trial on September 19th and 20th, Your Honor. September 26th. Um, I just have an inquiry. Would it be set for the whole day, uh, for half a day? I, I, you know, I've got hearings that day, but I could try to move some things around. I, I understand, Mr. Freely, and I'd appreciate it if you could do that. That's, that's two months out. I have things on that day, too. And from my office asking if one of these cases can be moved, which will be easy to get permission for me to do that. But um, um, I would schedule it for 8.30 in the morning. I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, I would plan on, on the matter taking the entirety of the day. Uh, <clears throat> Your Honor, I think I can move everything, but if it could start at, could it start at 9.30? Sure. I don't have a problem with that. 9.30 in the morning. Uh, Mr. Saunders, I, I see you checking in the back with, uh, I'm assuming with the crime victim. Is that uh, acceptable, an acceptable date to schedule? Yes, I believe it is. Okay. September 26th, 9.30 in the morning, I'll have that scheduled for the balance of the day. Um, 9.30. He asked for it to start at 9.30. Yes. All right. Very good. Uh, anything else before we uh, adjourn, Mr. Saunders? No. Mr. Freilich? Your Honor, um, that pre-sentence report, if I only have a week, I can imagine this one's going to be long. Could I have a little bit more time, maybe get it 10 days before? I'll, I will, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order that it be released no, no later than two weeks in advance of sentencing. Okay. This hearing is about two months out. Um, I didn't count the weeks, but um, I think we can get it done in that amount of time because they tell us we can get, they can get them done in six to eight weeks. So uh, that's what I'll order. Okay. Thank you. And with that, the matter is concluded. Thank you. Thank you very much.